As this year marks the 20th anniversary of Ciji in Malaysia, volunteers have designed a pavilion at a local recycling station, highlighting various natural disasters in order to increase local residents' awareness against such tragic events. Meanwhile, in Kamamon, following the recent floods there, Ciji volunteers launched a cash for work program to lead local residents in clean-up efforts. Despite being disaster survivors themselves, numerous local volunteers set aside their own problems to dedicate their efforts to helping those in greater need. In Malaysia's Kamaman, torrential rains in early December left this area severely flooded. To help, city initiated a cash for work program to help local residents clean up their communities. Volunteer Su Xinfei and Wang Yumei, despite suffering from the disaster themselves, stepped forward to help those in greater need. We don't have many volunteers here. If I didn't participate myself, how could I motivate others to do the same? I am a disaster survivor too, so I can understand how they desperately need consolation. Putting hands together in prayer, volunteers shed tears for the less fortunate. I'm very moved because we are here to help not ourselves, but the general public. At each cash for work program, some participants truly need the money, while others take part because they want to help their fellow citizens get back on their feet. Since Ciji volunteers have shown up to help them out, they think they should make contributions as well. With Ciji's support and local residents' contributions, flood survivors are finding that their lives are returning to normal. Meanwhile, in Selangor and Kuala Lumpur, as their year and blessing ceremony is just around the corner, city volunteers are busy with final preparations. Currently, volunteers are setting up a pavilion to show the different types of natural disasters. As the construction of the pavilion required professional advice, city volunteers asked interior designer Chen Huijie for help. Chen was more than willing to participate after learning the reason behind the construction. Lots of teams worked on this project together. We are not the only one. They show great team spirit and that's why I love this project. Whenever there's a problem, we work together to sort it out. It has been two weeks since volunteers started building the pavilion with recyclables and materials donated by local businesses. Inside the premise, visitors can experience the different forms of natural calamities. We want to teach members of the public how devastating disasters can be, so we built this pavilion to highlight the scale of natural disasters. As they walk here, the ground will tremble like it would when an earthquake hits. We use different props, plays and sound effects to simulate the different natural disasters. Sound effect, then you can feel that. The design of the pavilion aims to enhance the vigilance of the general public against future natural disasters.